hello, uh, hello, hello, um, uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things that you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Um, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know, um, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while. Uh, but I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. Uh, they spent a small fortune on these new animatronics, uh, facial recognition, uh, advanced mobility. They even let them roam around during the day too. Isn't that neat? Uh, <clears throat> but um, but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database, uh, so they can detect a predator a mile away. Yeah, heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Um, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Um, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Um, the the first guy finished his week but complained about um, conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift so hey lucky you right? Um, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, the restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the, the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So, then they go to try and find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So, our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So, just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed, and wind out for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, <clears throat> as And as for um, for the rest of the the animatronics, we we have an even easier solution. Uh, you see, there may be a minor glitch in the system. Uh, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to stuff you in a suit. So, hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wanders in will wander back out again. Um, something else worth mentioning is kind of the modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building can't. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, uh, I think that's it. Uh, you, should, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights. Put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, see? I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Um, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location. We just use them for parts now. Uh, the idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? The smell, ugh. So, the company decided to go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Um, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> I love those old animatronics.
No, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, Foxy. Um, hey, listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright lights. It would cause their systems to restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. Uh, it might hold them in place for a few seconds. Might be in some of the newer models too. Oh, one more thing, don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It was always... thinking. And it can it can go anywhere. I don't think a Freddy mask will fool it. So just just don't forget the music box. Uh, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Um, have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, see, I told you you wouldn't have any problems. Uh, did um, did Foxy ever appear at the hallway? Uh, uh, probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, he was he was always my favourite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know. Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid friendly and put him in Kids Cove uh, to keep toddlers entertained, you know. But, you know, kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together after every shift. So, eventually they stopped trying and left him as some take-apart-and-put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees uh, refer to him just as the mangle. Um, oh, hey, uh, before I go, um, I just wanted to ease your mind about any... Any rumours you may have heard lately? Um, you, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, and however tragic it may be, it has nothing to do with our establishment. It's, it's all just rumours and speculation. People trying to make a quick buck, you know. Um, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from open till close. Okay, well, anyway, hang in there, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hey there. Night four. I told you you'd get the hang of it. So, uh, okay, just to update you, um, there's been somewhat of an, uh, an investigation going on. Um, we may end up having to close for a few days. Don't know. Uh, I want to emphasise, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, Fazbear Entertainment denies any wrongdoings. These things happen sometimes. Um, it'll, it'll all get sorted out in a few days. Just keep an eye on things and I'll keep you posted. Uh, and just a side note though, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics tonight if you can. Someone may have tampered with their facial recognition system. We're not sure. Uh, but the, the characters have been acting very unusual almost aggressive towards the staff. Uh, they interact with the kids just fine, but when they encounter an adult, they just... stare. Uh, anyway, hang tight, get all pass, uh, good night. <coughs> hello, hello. Uh, hey, good job, night five. Hey, um, uh, hey, 
Keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown. Um, no one is allowed in or out, you know, especially concerning any any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move you to the day shift. Uh, position just became available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Um, we're trying to contact the original restaurant owners. Uh, I think is the name of the place was uh, Fred Bear's Family Diner or something like that. Uh, it's been closed for years though. I doubt we'll be able to track it on down. Uh, well, just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Uh, good night. Hello? Uh, hello? Um, uh, what, what on earth are you doing there? Um, didn't you, didn't you get the memo? Uh, the place is closed down, uh, at least for a while. Someone used one of the suits. We, we, we had a spare, a spare in the back, a yellow one. Some, someone used it. Now, now, none of them are acting right. Uh, listen, ju just finish your shift. It's safer than trying to leave in the middle of the night. Uh, we have one more event scheduled for tomorrow, a uh, birthday. Uh, you'll be on day shift. Wear your uniform. Stay close to the animatronics. Make sure they don't hurt anyone, okay? Um, for now, just make it through the night. Um, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take the night shift myself. Um, okay, good night, and good luck.